G'day ladies, and gentlemen, and everything in between, and welcome to KFOS, Logan International Airport in Boston. In this flight, we're heading over to Pittsburgh. It's minus two degrees Celsius outside, and we can expect snowy and windy conditions on our arrival. But more importantly, the point of this video is today I'm actually testing out a free alternative to your well-known eye trackers such as Toby and Track IR. So if you have a webcam and you're on a gaming budget like me, this too might be the right choice for you. So let's get into it. So what is AI Track and Open Track? Well, they're two pieces of software which work together and then link up to your simulated games to give you more realistic head movements as you can see on your screen. I'm looking around in real time in the cockpit and the programs are doing their job to make it look like I'm really there. So just quickly, both of the links to these programs uh, to download will be in the description below. So I believe AI Track is the actual tracking part of the software. You can see when you set it up that AI Track is the one that is actually following your face, uh, whereas OpenTrack is the software that actually connects it to your sim, which also allows you to edit the sensitivities, the inputs, and all that important stuff. Now, without having used the super expensive, top of the range eye trackers before, I can't compare this exactly, but I just feel like as a free alternative, this is incredible. The immersion it brings to the game oh, is on a whole nother level, and it almost makes the graphics look better. I don't know how, but it somehow just does. <laughs> sure, there's a few glitches when looking around, and sometimes it doesn't always respond the way you want it to, but with patience and tweaking some settings, you will get it to work the way you want it. And now the downside is I can't actually stream and use these trackers at the same time, as it will only allow me to use my webcam for one or the other. And it can also be a little annoying to set up. So I watched a few YouTube tutorials and it just wouldn't work until it just kind of decided to connect to Flight Sim automatically one time and I've never had an issue since. Also, the mapping options can be a little bit tedious to set up, but you can download my tracker preset settings in the description below. So you should be able to just load that up and you'll have the settings that I have. Keeping in mind, my webcam is probably at a different height, different angle and a different distance away from me uh, than it might be from you, but it could be a good start for you guys to set this thing up. And that segues very nicely into actually setting it up. So let's walk through it together and let's see if we can make it work on your end too. Alrighty, so here are the two pieces of software. So you've got OpenTrack on the left and AI Track on the right. So first thing you want to do is go into configuration and then this configuration window will pop up. Now these settings here, I believe I just copied off another person's YouTube tutorial. So I assume if you just copy these to be the same, then it might work for you too. So from memory, I didn't change anything from the width and the height and the FPS of the camera. Uh, the only thing I do remember being super important is the IP address here it needs to be 127.0.0.1 and the port has to be 4242. Uh, and then other than that, I don't remember worrying too much about anything else. So I just click apply and then you'll be able to uh, get rid of that screen. And then once you click start tracking, your beautiful mugshot should pop up like so. So you can obviously see the magenta is outlining my uh, my features so you can see my eyes, my head, my face as I turn it around and move it and do all that stuff forward and backwards. So that's obviously a good sign, you know, it's being able to pick up my ugly face. So we're already halfway there. Now we can move over to open track. Now the settings for open track are as follows. The input I've got as UDP over network. And if you click this little uh, hammer button or the settings button, the port number you'll see is also 4242, which is the same as what we had on AI track. So I'm pretty sure with those two things as the same, then they kind of talk to each other uh, to be able to make this work. The output I've got is free track 2.0 enhanced. Uh, you can go into the settings there and this is what my settings are. I don't believe I've changed anything from that. Um, but you can see there's a lot of options, but I've got free track 2.0 enhanced. And for filter, we've got ours on Excella. Now you are gonna wanna go into the settings of the uh, the filter page. 
And what you're gonna do is go to the shortcuts. Now, the only binding I really use for this one, which I've set up, is the center. Now, what the center does is say I'm sitting in the cockpit of the plane and I look right, the, obviously the camera's gonna go right with me. And then if I hit center, it's just gonna go bang straight back to the center, even if my face is still looking that way. So yeah, it just centers the camera straight back to its default position. Now, if you find your way to the output tab, these axes assignments are very important. So if you've got the yaw, pitch, roll, X, Y, and Z, now all these sources are pretty important if you're using this for flight simulator or even like a truck simulator, um, because your yaw source will be like left and right, your pitch will be up and down. Uh, your roll, I don't really know what the roll does. I can't really remember. Um, the X, Y, and Z is like that axis. So it'll be like the forward, back, uh, and I believe like side axes as well, but um, they're all very important. And I've actually inverted the pitch, inverted the roll, inverted the Y, and inverted the Z axes. Uh, I believe that's because Without those inverted, you're gonna look left and it's gonna look right, so it just doesn't make sense and you kind of feel like you're having an, an aneurysm, so we don't want that. Now, relative translation, I've never touched that that tab. Game detection, never touched it. Filter, I've got smoothing all the way to the top and I've also got smoothing all the way to the top on this one. That's quite important, I think, because without these maximized, you're gonna see some pretty like jolty and ugly kind of looks on the uh, on the game. And we can click OK on that. Now, with the mapping here, I'm just gonna leave this on the screen for a second so that you guys can come back to it. So this is the your settings. It's note the max input is 180 degrees and moving on to the pitch settings, max input is 90 degrees, max output is 90 degrees. So you guys can screenshot that if you want or just pause the video. The roll is uh, is quite low, you can see, and it's 180 degrees for the max input. The x-axis, max input is 30, max output is 75. The y-axis, also max input 30, max output 75. And the z-axis, is the same as well. So go back to this if you want. So I will be, you will be able to download my preset and just load it into OpenTrack. However, if that doesn't work for some reason, then yeah, you can just refer back to this part of the video. So that's the mapping section. Now you should just be able to click start and the game is just gonna detect it straight away uh, and you're free to use it. So try that and let me know how that goes. It's a really, really good alternative to the $500, $600 uh, eye tracking tools that uh, that the big dogs use, but hey, I understand we can't all afford that. So, get onto the Open Track AI Track Train, see if it works for you. Now, just make sure you check that description below because you do want to get all the download links and important information down there. Alrighty, now go get them, have fun flying, and I'll see you in the next video.